Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Dayton Squad. This is Addy. So on today's video is a press release from the Bureau of Immigration. Details coming right up. So two days ago, the Bureau of Immigration has posted a travel advisory for these seven countries that are currently banned to travel to the Philippines. If you are coming from these seven countries that is currently banned to enter the Philippines until May 31 of 2021, this is the update for it. So as what I've read, from the press release from the Bureau of Immigration, whether you are a Filipino or a non-Filipino, but if you are traveling from these seven countries and not part of the repatriation program, you are not allowed to enter the Philippines starting May 15 until May 31 of 2021. So if you are a Filipino coming from India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and the two countries that were added is Oman and the United Arab Emirates. If you are coming from this country and not part of the repatriation program of the Philippine government, unfortunately, you are not allowed to enter the Philippines until May 31. This is the duration of the travel restrictions of these seven countries. So let's go over the details of this press release from the Bureau of Immigration. Travelers from seven countries banned from entering the Philippines. Bureau of Immigration. Pasay, Philippines. The Bureau of Immigration announced that the implementation of the extended travel ban to include Oman and the United Arab Emirates starting May 15. Bureau of Immigration Commissioner Jaime Morenti shared that they received an order from Malacanang extending the ongoing temporary travel ban for travelers coming from India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka until May 31 of 2021. Following said order, those from Oman and UAE will temporarily be barred as well until the end of the month, said Morente. Those who will be coming from or have a travel history within the last 14 days from the seven countries will be excluded and sent back to their port of origin, he added. Bureau of Immigration Port Operations Division Chief Attorney Carlos Capulong stated that they are not expecting any more coming from said countries as airlines were instructed not to allow boarding of passengers prohibited from entering unless they are part of repatriation efforts of the national government. Meanwhile, Capulong clarified that those who will be merely transiting through said region will be allowed to enter. Transiting would mean that they did not leave the airport terminal, were not cleared by immigration authorities, and are there for layover, he stated. The flight ban was implemented to stop the entry of the new COVID-19 variant from India. So let's clarify everything. Starting May 15 until May 31, travelers from India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Oman, and UAE are barred from entering the Philippines unless you are part of the repatriation program by the Philippine government or you are a passenger that is merely transiting in these seven countries. So for example, you come from the States, you have a layover in the UAE, just a layover, meaning you did not have to go through the immigration process, you did not leave the airport and all that stuff. You are still allowed to enter the Philippines. 
This is if you have a layover on those seven countries that are currently on travel ban to the Philippines. So please take note of this travel advisory from the Bureau of Immigration. So again, those travelers coming from the seven countries, India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Oman, and the UAE are barred from entering the Philippines unless you are part of the repatriation program of the Philippine government or you are just merely transiting on these seven countries going to the Philippines. So those are the only travelers that are allowed right now to enter the Philippines until this travel restriction is lifted. This travel restriction will last from May 15 until May 31 of 2021. So I hope we are clear on this current press release from the Bureau of Immigration. So this is our quick update for today. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family whom you know that can use this video as reference. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We do travel updates and if you are not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified on updates like this. And to our subscribers and new subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel, The Eaton Squad. I hope to see you guys on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye. All right.